Okay, I'm going to talk about a very common question that I get from students and clients. This is, where did my toolbar go? Now, before we can talk about why this occurs, let's just make sure we know what the toolbar is. Right here, right above the film strip, is a bar called your toolbar. This is what we're speaking of. So, the reason why this disappears is because you're probably inadvertently hitting the T key on the keyboard. As you may have known, with through Lightroom, it's full of keyboard shortcuts. In fact, the entire keyboard are live keys. And if you touch anything on the keyboard, something most likely will happen. So T is one of those, and the dedicated T key is to turn on and off the toolbar. Most people don't hit the key intentionally when they don't want to, because that would be unintentional. So why do we unintentionally or inadvertently keep hitting this T key? Well, most likely is because we are trying to do some sort of text input. For example, if I want to do a text search, I'm going to come up to my text filter and click in my search box. It's this box right here that tells the keyboard to no longer do keyboard shortcuts, that any typing that I do will take place in this white field. It's called a field. Now if I click over here in my keyword tag field, it turns white as well. Well, let's come down to the metadata panel and let's say click on caption. Notice that it turns white. This white coloring is very, very important because that means that the, that field is active and keyboard shortcuts will no longer work until that field is non-active. And so I know that it's active because it's white. Now if I click somewhere else, it's going to go gray. White, gray. Well, this one's gray. So we need to pay attention. We need to pay attention to where you are when you press a key on the keyboard. Now another reason is that many people have extended or long fingernails. And when reaching for, say, the F or the G, we may inadvertently hit the T with the tip of a long fingernail. So it can be quite helpful to shorten up those fingernails when typing because weird things may start to happen. So if you lose your toolbar, go ahead and press T again when you're not in a select field. So if you do lose your toolbar, let's pretend there. Okay, now I just lost my toolbar because I pressed T. Now you'll see that there is no toolbar down here. Press T again. Oh, look, toolbar reappears. So remember that T is simply a turning on and off button of your toolbar. If you're not a keyboard shortcut user, you can also go up to View, and the very first item is Hide Toolbar, or if it's already hidden, Show Toolbar, and it will come back. And lastly, T is just one of many, many, many keyboard shortcuts. So the same holds true. Don't press any key on the keyboard unless you know what it does, because it most likely will do something, and you'll want to know what it is. I have other videos describing some of the other more common scenarios of missing items in Lightroom. I hope this video has helped solve at least one of the mysteries of Lightroom. Thanks for watching.